Ephesians 5, 3-20 But among you there must not be even a hint of sexual immorality, or of any kind of impurity, or of greed, because these are improper for God's holy people. Nor should there be obscenity, foolish talk, or coarse joking, which are out of place, but rather thanksgiving. For of this you can be sure, no immoral, impure, or greedy person, such a person is an idolater, has any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of God. Let no one deceive you with empty words, for because of such things God's wrath comes on those who are disobedient. Therefore do not be partners with them. For you were once darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Live as children of light, for the fruit of the light consists in all goodness, righteousness, and truth, and find out what pleases the Lord. Have nothing to do with the fruitless deeds of darkness, but rather expose them. It is shameful even to mention what the disobedient do in secret, but everything exposed by the light becomes visible, and everything that is illuminated becomes a light. This is why it is said, Wake up, sleeper, rise from the dead, and Christ will shine on you. Be very careful, then, how you live, not as unwise, but as wise, making the most of every opportunity, because the days are evil. Therefore do not be foolish, but understand what the Lord's will is. Do not get drunk on wine, which leads to debauchery. Instead, be filled with the Spirit, speaking to one another with psalms, hymns, and songs from the Spirit. Sing and make music from your heart to the Lord, always giving thanks to God the Father for everything, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. The passage that was just read to you uh, hit me pretty hard. Uh, let me go through a couple of gems that are in there, and I'll uh, return to one that's in the middle. Uh, verse 4. I had a whole lot of jokes I used to tell that were, oh, just hilarious, but not very seemly. Those are all in the past now. I, I've hidden them. They won't resurface because um, that's just coarse joking, which I'm commanded to avoid. Secondly, in verse 5. Um, God cannot use a dirty vessel in his kingdom. And uh, that's, that's something that uh, has impacted my life uh, directly. Verse uh, 18. Um, people, some people don't think that they sing very well. But just realize that the only set of ears we're interested in is on high. And he loves it when we sing to him. He's not worried about timing, pitch, all the things that singers worry about. He is concerned with the heart. And it gets to the light that's in your heart that we're going to be talking about. And lastly, number 20, uh, verse 20. Um, a way that we can pray without ceasing is to pray for the little things as well as the big things that come along. I thank God for being able to take a deep breath, which happens many times a day. But I think of it every once in a while, and I just thank God for that ability. And many other small things that go on in my life that actually could turn into big things if I didn't really consider who is helping to sustain my life. I'd like to return to verse number 13. But everything exposed by the light becomes visible. This is something that I had to be taken to the woodshed and humbled by God before I really understood this verse. Um, Cheryl and I gave our lives to the Lord on the same night in November 1978, just after we were married. But it wasn't until 12 years later, 1990, when we moved to Harrisburg, that I was sent a recurring dream that exposed something that I was hiding. I thought I was hiding things in my heart from God. Can you imagine? Well, I didn't realize that until I had a recurring dream about 12 times, and I couldn't understand it until it finally sank in after a while. I was in a situation, different situations every time. Sometimes it was a uh, a school packed with children. Sometimes it was in a party, in a house party, packed with people. No way to escape, but I appeared um, without a stitch of clothes on. And that was very uh, embarrassing. 
I had to find a way to get out of that situation, which of course was impossible without being seen and without bringing embarrassment upon myself. What I finally understood after that series of dreams, very disturbing dreams, that I'm not hiding anything from God. Why wasn't I being used as a vessel in God's kingdom? Well, because it was dirty. So it became a, it became a um, another 12-year uh, cleansing. And I finally had to humble myself, recognize that what I was doing was holding me back. And so I guess I would uh, advise anybody that um, take a flashlight and shine it in your heart. See what you see. If there's anything that you wouldn't want everybody to see, I advise you to take action, positive action. You can't believe the uh, plans God has for you.